What's up, my boy? George Perez right here at George Perez Stories, episode 243. Once again, George Press Stories is brought to you by JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation. They've been serving California since 1985. Look, people, if you're sick of people making fun of your lawn, like the mailman don't even respect your lawn. It's so messed up, he walks on it. Amazon throws packages because you got squirrels doing push-ups on the lawn. Have no fear, JB's Tree Service is here. That's right, guys. If your lady doesn't let you have an Instagram, the phone number is 562-739-8060. If your lady does let you have an Instagram, it's J-M-B-A-R-R-I-O-S-12. Make sure you guys give them love. JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation does free estimates, tree service, stump removal. Like, look, people, I had four stumps. Old ones. They were like, they were about to go in the plumbing. They were pushing my neighbor's wall back. JB's Tree Service came with those professional stump removal wood chippers. The ones that got teeth like Tommy. And they're just like, hot, hot, like, hey, I'm not playing games. JB's Tree Service, landscape and installation. Once again, George Perez Stories is also brought to you by GB Extracts. Once again, leading the game in sauce, wax, shatter. Diamonds, pre rolls, moon rocks, and all kinds of other things. Gummy bears and treats. So if you're looking to be a sweet freak, make sure you follow GB Extracts. Episode 243. A little drink for you fools. X to the G, what it be. What's up, dog? What's up, fool? Nothing. I'm a little sad in tag along yesterday with you. What, what do you mean you didn't tag along yesterday? Uh, you forgot, but you invited me to the to go trick or treating with you. Like, hey, vente conmigo, like last year, and I didn't go, but I should have gone this year. Out there being like a fucking fool's gone wild, Mister Little E. Oh yeah, it was a it was a dope. Where, where'd you go? Like, I, te reconocieron or? Were well, they... you know what? We're gonna get into that right now. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, I went to my hometown, the city of Orange, right there by the Orange Circle. I took my daughters and my boys, both my sons and both my daughters came, and uh, all my baby's moms let me take the kids, dog. It was like, <laughs> I guess they wanted to hang out with their baby's daddy's kids. Yeah. They're like, fuck yeah, you take it's those. Crazy. I'll be with this fool's kids. Gracias. And uh, everybody dressed up in the family. I was little Mr. E. My daughter was a sad clown. My other daughter was in animation. And then one of my sons was Tony Montana. And my other son was Boston George, and we just fucking hit the streets, dog. But it was kind of weird, dog, because, like, it was an orange, and it was a lot of people that I went to school with, and I kind of didn't want to talk to all of them. So I was just, like, having the mask on full, and, like, yeah, it was cool, dog. But uh, speaking of someone that doesn't have a mask on, he has a cast on. <laughs> it's not coming off for a while. It's uh, one of our favorite guests, uh, Yo. The homie went through something. He hasn't been around because the body put him down. Number love, dog, and I'm so glad you're back. Ladies and gentlemen, predict in the building. What's up, my boy? Big chilling right here, man. It's right here just holding the black ball. Yeah. The black ball right here, man. Just chilling, man. I've been out of commission for like two months or so. And... Shit. Hey, my motherfucking, my recliner fell back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit. So, yeah, dog. So, before you tell us what happened, tell us what your injury is. Well, I walked into cool. the... Yeah, man. Come on, man. That's what we're here for. I went to Olive View Hospital, which is a county hospital. People die there. For. It's like the East LA City fucking... Yeah. Olive View Hospital's right there in Silmar. So, I pulled up right there. Shout out to the hunger that took me there and shit. She works there. She's a nurse. And so I went over there. I was like, fuck, my shoulder's fucked up, right? My left shoulder went off. I popped it back open. Then my right one went off. That shit didn't want to pop back in. I was like, oh, fuck, let me call the hunger. Like, hey, man, my shit's fucked up. She's like, I'm on vacation. I'm like, fucking great. She's like, but I'll take you. I'm like, well, let's go. She took me over there. <clears throat> it's like almost going in through the back, dog. Like, 
I was like, damn, this girl got all the plugs and shit. They took me back there. They told me I just had a fucking dislocated shoulder. It took them like seven days before they even did anything to me, bro. They, were, they kept on sending me back home every day. I was like, man, why are you discharging me? Yeah, well, this located shoulder will fix it. I got yeah. Medi-Cal, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> fix it, you know? So it took them about like four days before they even cut me open. They didn't try like the fucking throw you. No, just they the did. They did. They they heavily sedated me and shit. I was like, "What the fuck, you guys doing?" They're like, "Breathe." I was like, "Oh <laughs> fuck, what's this?" They're like, "Did you take the corona shot?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm double shot it." They're like, "All right, then here we're gonna give you a little test." I was like, "I don't want the test." They're like, "Shut up!" Like they were like holding me down. Yeah. Put that shit up on my nose. I was like, "I don't want it. I don't want it." They're like, "Bang, here you go. We got them." Yup. And then they gave me this fucking little mascara, breathe. And I was like, bro. And then they put you out with that. Huh? They put me out, dog, out cold. And then I woke up in the middle of the fucking process, bro. And you're like, your hips rolling. Nah, your bro. I, I I actually woke up like screaming, bro. Like, damn. Oh, like, leave me the fuck alone. They're like, shut up. Oh, go back to sleep and shit, you know? So that shit was crazy. It kind of fucked with my damn, head. Damn, for did that you go to the psych head. ward to get your shoulder part back in? And like, it didn't, and they didn't pop it back in, dog. That was a problem. So when I went back again, for you, I got pictures. Dog. So what? You go home and you're just like, what the fuck? What, what the fuck? Call me, yeah, my shoulder. They gave me one of these, but a cheaper one, dog. I was like, oh fucked up, bro. And they haven't sliced you open yet. They hadn't sliced me open. They sliced me open on a on a Thursday, and I went in on a Monday. And they give you any kind of pain medicine for this, like Tylenol? Well, from Monday through through Wednesday, that's when they were trying to pop my shit back open. I mean, pop my shit back in, and it wasn't giving in. On Thursday, they're like, "We're gonna have to cut you open." I was like, "All right, well, whatever. Let's let's run it." They pop that shit. They they cut me open. Next thing you know, I fucking they told me that I had a fractured shoulder. I was like, "How do I go from a dislocated shoulder to a fracture?" They like, fractured it. Yeah, they fractured it. So here I am uh, right now. Yeah, dog, it's, it was crazy. So on Friday comes, um, the surgeon didn't show up. I was like, now what? They're like, we're going to keep you over here for the whole weekend. I was like, with the dislocated shoulder? They're like, you got to wait till Monday. I was like, I was fucking mad, dog. So Sunday comes around. Hell yeah, where was this fool? Acapulco on vacation? Man, I don't know where the fuck this fool was. Probably at excess pad or something. <laughs> so come Sunday, my little nephew goes and feeds my dog. And they say, you know, my fucking bitch, uh, Snow, she's dying right there, dog. I was like, what? She missed you, man. Yeah. She was depressed, dog. So I was yeah. like, nah. And I was watching it through my ring app. I was like. Nah, dog, I was already all fucked up and shit. I was like, yeah. man, that's fuck, fucked up. And the nurse, she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, my fucking dog is dying. That's what's fucking wrong. Spencer, you know, it's cool, man, you know. Rest in peace, killer. Rest yeah. in peace, snow, you know. Rest in peace, snow and killer. You know, so come Monday, they finally got me in the fucking uh, operating room. Hey, man, that shit fucking hurt like a motherfucker, dog. I ain't even going to lie, dog. I don't even want to do my other shoulder no more, but something that's got to be done. It was like, what, gotcha? Like, when they put you down, like, you could like, tell it was shady? You could, bro, because, like, when I went back, like, they were telling me, take a piss. And I was like, all right, well, fuck, I'm going to try. But they were giving me all kinds of morphine and oxys. And I was like, man, I'm trying to take you a piss. You know these drugs, huh? So you're like, I know what I'm getting. I'm like, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> give me another another dose. <laughs> You know, it's because they give, they, they give it to you straight up through your vein. They give you a point five, which is probably like a half a gram of fucking morphine. And slam then they give, it in your vein? Yeah, they'll, they'll slam it on you, and then they give you another shot. I don't know what it was, though, but it's to, like, wash it down or something. Okay. Fool, as soon as they fucking squeeze that shit, you feel that shit go through your whole body, bro. You're like, like cool, everything. Bam, bam. And then, you know, you're like, oh, shit, can I get some more? You know, straight Why up, Why do you bro. want more? Because it feels Cause, like good? No, because... No, it's not that it feels good. It just takes away that whole fucking pain, da. So, oh. so now you kind of understand, like, a tecato. You feel me? Like, yeah. damn, that's why you guys do that shit, bro, you know? It takes away all your problems and your pain, dog. But every six hours, they kept on fucking dosing me in, dog. So when they told me to go take a piss, I couldn't pee. I kept on drinking water. Kept on drinking water. And they're like, pee. And I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. 
they bring out like this shade for like the pregnant catheter. girls. It's a catheter. Is that what it is? Yeah. You could, they could see all the water you got inside of you, dog. And I'm like, well, I can't pee. She fucking a nurse comes in, dog, with this big ass fucking. Well, that's the catheter. That's the like the lomet, and that's the catheter. Okay, but they before, first, they before that, they just did like an ultrasound. Yeah. So they show exactly how much water you have. That in needs you. to come out. That needs that to come needs out. That needs to come out. And, and I'm like, toxins. I can't. So I'm like, yeah, they're like. Go and I'm like I can and I'm like fuck it. They call the fucking nurse and I was like, what's that? They're like, <laughs> like te la vamos a meter, te la vamos a meter por el chiquitín, <laughs> homie. Like I was like, bro, nah, nah. They're like, yup. Here we go. Once they, that shit went in, dog. Did you feel it though? Full. But you're on drugs. I don't get I don't it. Give you're a you're shit on morphine. Hey, How do you feel that? I don't give a fuck, homie. Only piss supposed to be coming out. Nothing's supposed to be going in, dog. That's like a pussy. Shit, fool. <laughs> that shit goes in. It went in, and you feel it going in like this. And then it, oh man, that shit hurts me right now just thinking about it, bro. And they did that twice to you? Twice. The first time they, they brought out like a 920 lesson? milliliters or some shit. I was like, damn, that's a lot of fucking piss. Damn. <sighs> It was bad, bro. And then the, after the second time they did that, and, you say, like, and then the second time, off. the second time they did it to me was on Monday. You don't do what because you weren't. No, a that's no it. Hey, when I seen it again, I was like, "Just go, dog. Like, just go, homie. I don't even know why I'm arguing with you. Just do it, bro. I already knew. Ex- oh, that shit feels bad, bro. Hold on, though. Like, does the nurse hold your dick down and they're like, "Hold yeah, it"? Yeah, oh, they clean it. They 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 they'll, they'll, they'll get your dick and they'll start cleaning it, dog. <laughs> We're like, sh- for real, they clean it all, dog, and. And it's, you know, like they squeeze it and bam, they put it straight in. And you're like, uh, oh man, that shit's fucking. So they squeeze it. They like squeeze it, dog. Yeah, you're like this. You're like, oh fuck, <laughs> fuck. Call me like, hurry up, go, dog. You know what I'm saying? And like, it finally goes in through where it's supposed to, dog. You yeah. And then everything starts coming out. You don't even feel it no more. You're just like, fuck. Call me like, you just feel violated, bro. Yeah, I don't know. You know, but I mean, it's something that that's gotta be done, dog. I'd rather have something in my dick hole than my butthole. True. <laughs> True. No, 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 no. And then Straight they were up. they were like, can you shit? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm like, no, 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 man. You guys better stop with that shit, bro. Give me something, dog. I'm going to start eating. Give me something, dog. Give me some milk, cereal. I did whatever I could to, like, took a shit, dog. Because they're like, if you don't shit, we have to fucking put the plug in. I was like, I'm going to take a shit, dog. That's so... Bad. Let's and rewind. this was all over a dislocated yeah, shoulder. Yeah, over, like, yeah, don't you get, don't you get those rewind. in high school and shit? Yeah, no. I'm let's, sure George has gotten one football. Yeah, yeah, but let's rewind because his is <laughs> exclusive. He's an old man, that's why. Yeah, so, hey, homie, you have this, like, expensive Lazy Boy recliner. <laughs> like, it has, like, a lever, can you know? Man. Talk no, that shit has buttons. Dog. It goes okay. automatically. Talk about it. Dude, so, how did it happen? I've sat on this thing. This thing has a thing to charge your phone. This thing has a thing to keep your drink cool. It has like a fucking like Bluetooth a, speaker. Too. Yeah, hey. it's touching nah, on. Nah, I don't nah, think no it's that speaker, but <laughs> no, we're gonna spice it up. But it's touching. It's touching on. Okay. It isn't like your regular like the one you Recliner. get at Walmart. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. He's at at Walmart. <laughs> so talk to me, dog. Well, fuck, homie, I fell asleep. <laughs> and how did you fall asleep? What were you doing? How, how tired were you? Doing? I was very tired, dog. Okay. Like I probably like at four in the morning, I went to sleep. I kicked that shit all the way back, dog. You know how much that shit goes back. Back, Next, back, yeah. Back, back. You're like, fuck you. Homie, with Does the- it have walls on the side of you? Yeah, it has. Like a, a recliner, right? Yeah, like a recliner with two armrests and shit. Okay. You can put double pistols if you want on that oh, shit, dog. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, you, you shit, it pops open. If you have a cuete, whatever, you know, it's ready to go. So I put, I put both of my arms like this. I went to sleep. And like at 6 in the morning, I woke up and I'm like, man. Both of my hands are fucked up. So I'm like, let me see what's going on. I went like this, and I, felt, I heard it go clack. I was like, oh, fuck. Just from picking your arm up? Yeah, because there's, there, there wasn't no blood circulating there, through my through I my arms. You. And as you get older, that's what happens, dog. Damn. So I popped that shit back in like, I'm, like a man, dog. And then I was like, let me see what's up with this one. Oh, when this one popped out, oh, it was the end of the world, dog, because that shit didn't even go back in. So I was really hurting for seven days. But, like... While this is happening, dog, did did you not think, hey, let me just lay here and call the ambulance? Hell no, that's a thousand bucks. Yeah, I just I fucking duped it. I had medical. Yeah, well, still I don't know. Is. Still, no, it costs. Money it still for costs money for the ambulance. You know, come on, man. I know you got medical too. You don't have medical. 
You get deported. He got fucking uh, Meta Ash. <laughs> uh, Medimex. Yeah. You know, so. If Xavier gets hurt, it's over. It's dog. over, homie. He has to go to a fucking Salvador. Oh, like that? Look at him. He's acting like we ain't talking. Yeah. Huh? Um, Salvador. But yeah, man. So, uh, hey, homie. How long do you think your circulation was cut off? Man, for at least like three hours, dog. So. That's what I'm telling like you. Word, like word trap blood, like trap, trap blood. Yeah. yeah, I know. I want them to get to like, cause like I've been there when you've like. I remember one time, dog. I was fucking boning this hyena, and I fucking wrapped her underwear around my arm. What the fuck? <laughs> no, <laughs> cause I would bone her for, and I'd smell the underwear at her. Sheesh, and I like it, caca. And I wrapped it around my arm, and then like. She had those little, you know, the, they had the beds, they had the balls that come up. Oh, yeah, those well, old school ones. For some reason, my hand got caught there, and it was tight. And, like, I woke up, and my hand was light. It was light skin. Ooh. And it had freckles on it. And, like, so that happened to you for three fucking hours by your shoulders or something. Not just that, but by the time that my hunger took me to the hospital, it was, like, 7 p.m. So, I really think about it. I was just like, fuck, man, what am I going to do? My shit was all trickle, dog. I got pictures of that shit. You're like, God damn, fool. Like, you really took that out. Man. But, like, usually when your arm goes numb or there's no circulation, doesn't your body just move on its own? How tired were you? Were you that drunk? Like, I was asleep. I was just, it woke me up, bro. It just woke me up because I had both arms. Not just one, but both of them. So they were both asleep. I woke up and I'm like, oh shit, what happened? But that quick. Recliners fight back, so right now we're probably just gonna try to fucking um try to file like a lawsuit against the manufacturer or something, you know? Damn, you could do shit like that. Nah, it's true, man. You know, there's a lot of people that got in hurt over that shit, bro. And then the hospital malpractice time in, right? The doctor. Yep. Yeah. Damn. It's county hospitals, dog. You know, that's so, some shit right there. So who knows, man? All you single bitches, pongas en las pilas. You know, I've been telling you, man, that he's gonna have some good money sometimes. Nah, that's just fucked up, man. And, uh, you know, it sucks, man, that, that, like, you know, we all fuck up at one time. Maybe this doctor hasn't fucked up before. Maybe we go to investigate this shit, and this phone has, like, 15 malpractices on him. Like, you know what I mean? Man, sometimes you land. Hole. Yeah, sometimes you land that wrong motherfucker. Or they just see us by the color of our skin that we're going to stay quiet. Yeah. They're, they're like, like, he ain't going to say shit. Fuck yeah, him. get him out of here. Get him out of here. Like, nah, motherfucker. Carl Rosenberg, right? <laughs> uh, now nah, he's a fucking criminal, criminal. Um, he's a criminal lawyer. Term. Yeah, but he got plugs. Oh, of course. You know, so let's see if something goes right. Every time I go on Rosenberg's Instagram, there's a homie, a homegirl. He takes care Rasa of everybody. Saying like, "Yo, this fool's yeah, my lawyer." I got this time cut. I got out. So, yo, shout out to Rosenberg, man. Out Nicholas there. Nicholas Rosenberg here. Yeah. Out there uh, letting everyone be an American, giving them their rights. Yep. X, have you ever had to call the hospital or anything like that? For what? Nah, fool. That's the last you, you thing you do as a paisa. Huh? Yeah, as a paisa, that's the last thing you do. You're like, no, mira, mijo, te vas a morir. Yeah, when we first, <laughs> yeah, when we first got here, when we first got here, we went to my uncle's house and... You know, I'm like five or six years old, three or four years old, and he has a glass table in between two couches. And you know, has exactly a, what you mean. You know, as a little yeah, and you know, as a little kid, you jump yeah across it. Hell Obviously, yeah. after a hundred of them, you gotta slip. I slipped, and we had just been here for maybe <sighs> maybe two weeks. My mom doesn't know English. Neither my mom do doesn't you. Know, yeah, I neither do I. My mom doesn't know where my dad's at. My dad's like trabajando de jardinero. My tío's his boss. And I busted my lip open, gushing a whole lot of blood. She said if she would have been like in in Mexico, would have called nine one one, got an ambulance. All she did was hold my lip until <laughs> it stopped bleeding. <laughs> hey, look at this! Crack you on my head. Hey, I got that shit in Mexico, dog. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. going through the ambulance, and I was fucking climbing a bookshelf when I was like about like three years old. A bookshelf. A bookshelf. So it was all tall. The babysitter put a, like a little carrito up there. So I'm over there climbing it, and as soon as I'm about to catch that shit, I come down with the fucking bookshelf. Full of the corner hits me right in the fucking head. I remember bleeding. 
I remember the lady telling me, if you cry, you're not going to see your mom. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, they be raw in Mexico, dog. They didn't want, they, they taught you like, hey, mijo, this shit's going to happen. Shit's going to happen, bro. Especially you being a citizen. Man, it was crazy, bro. So, I mean, I got a couple stories, you know, but yeah. whatever. It is what it is. Nah, I mean. Uh, Do you call the hospital? I mean, I've never had, I have. Uh, shit, excuse me. I've been to the hospital, but really not for me, dog. Like, I'm trying to remember. We had to drag you to the hospital when you were sick. Me yeah. and Evans were like, you were I was dying. dying. I said. Yeah. Before COVID came out. Yeah, when you see the when you see a COVID uh, patient. Nah, man. Right now, like, it's crazy, bro. When you see one of those fucking hospital beds, bro, it gets really lonely there, dog. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. You right? really get to see almost death firsthand, bro. Like. Whether you have a lot of friends or not, they only allow, like, What two do you visitors. mean? Like, when you first got there, did you have a lot of, like, patients rotating around you, dog? Yeah, I was like, what's going on here? Because, I mean, I went so to people the people were ER. dying? You're saying people were dying? Man, sh- you don't COVID? even know. No, not yeah, from COVID. No, I didn't get there through COVID, but, I mean, everybody's wearing a mask. I didn't have a mask, and I said, fuck it, let's go already. You're at the um, hospital, no mask? Yeah, for that, I already told them I had double shot everything. They take you. For there to give me a fucking mask to go to sleep and shit, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck am I putting on a fucking mask? Like, let's go, COVID, Head, heads uh, up. Oxygen take Let's mask. go, heads up. Let's go, heads and up, bro. another mask. I'm here right now. I mean, might as well get COVID. You're already there. Yeah. I was right there chilling for like 13 days. Like, what's up, nurse? Give me another dose. Damn. You know, like, I'm cool. It's, I, I feel like all that shit, if you, if, if you go heads up with the COVID, you'll be all right. If you're scared and they make you take all those shots... Wear all those masks. That's where you, I feel like your immune system is, is, you know, it's not tolerating everything that you're supposed to because, she, oh, I don't know, that's just me. You know what I mean? D- did you have a, some chick pull up? Because I know George wouldn't last 13 days, no chick. I would have got you. Hey, he would have got someone. Hey, he man. Got some, hey someone. I went two months, dog. I, hey, I barely rubbed one out today, homie. Nah. See. See, see, see. See, see, see. <laughs> shit, that shit was on my van out right there, bro. Like. Oh, uh, really? so I was like, hey, dog, my my nuts were tingling already, dog, from like, from like, fuck, homie. You're like, the last candles and everything? Sh- nah, I was just in the shower, like, fuck it, homie, <laughs> let me rub one of those motherfuckers out right now. It's going up. That means it still works. <laughs> hey, bro, when you're in the hospital, that shit don't go up, bro, all those medications. So when yeah. it starts going up, you're like, all right, I'm still cool. But hey, my boy, uh... I wish you a fucking speedy recovery and shit. Like, you're doing better. So, this happened two months ago? How long On the ago? 27th. So, September 27th. Okay. Like a month. A month, a month and a couple days. A month. a month and a couple days. Yeah. And now you're you're like 50 to 60% mobile to me. Well, it's because I don't take no for an answer. I'm like, no, nah, what do you mean I can't do it? I have to. Look, I went and I picked up X like that. Like, don't be driving. There I go. Yeah, like you I can't. Mean, you get cabin fever, dog. Yeah, being home alone, dog, it's crazy. You, like, depression could kick in and you could start having some crazy ass thoughts, bro. Like, you're like, fuck everybody. you like, give me some dope. You know what I mean? Or like, you want to just start taking all kinds of pills or something, you know? So. You got to try to just stay focused and shit. Yeah. You know, I already lost my dog. So I'm like, there's Chapo. He's yeah. 10 years old. I'm like, that's all I got right now. It's just me and Chapo. But it's crazy. When he? He's 10 years old. What about the other dog, Jalisco? Jalisco, he's five months. Okay. Five months. That's, that's fucking snow sun. Yeah, that's the future. That's know? the future. You know, yeah. but that shit gets sad, homie. Nah, I feel you, homie. And uh, fuck you. Give me a fucking beer, X. You want another beer, dog? Oh, you're good. Aquí estamos bien. Um, dog. Everything's gonna everything's gonna work out, homie, because you know you're good, gente, and uh, karma's gonna be like. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that. God does things for for a reason, bro. You know. No, this isn't even God. This is the universe right now. That's the universe, you know. Right now, dog. What happened is is, uh, you're about to get a big break, but you got to take a mean break to get Uh, a break. A lot of gente don't know. They don't get it. And you're like, you know what? The universe is like, you know what, fool? You've been slick. But let me just give you a little check that suits out. for eight, ten months. Yep. And boom, here you go. Yep, it might take four years, but guess what? Oh, yeah. 
You know, if they say you're disabled for life, I'm like, well, just run me my check every month, homie. <laughs> like, hey, you got to take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. Yeah, no, that's crazy. You know, like, shit, you're going to run me a check every month? I'll figure out the rest. Damn. We'll start doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> with one hand? One hand. All right. Salud. Salud. What's up? Where are we at? 25. All right. What's up, fool? Oh, man, is he getting around? You remember Home Way yeah. he, he broke his arm. Oh, what happened? He jacks off too much. Like, we're, I, we're, I took Raquel from him. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, his, both of his shoulders fell asleep, and he fucking woke up and dislocated, and then the doctors fucked him up, and they cut him up, gave him surgery, and it's all even worse. Damn, that was a fentanyl or something. Yeah. <laughs> not bad, bro. doesn't even work on it. Nope. Hurts like crazy? Man, they got me on all kinds of medications right now. Are you using that elbow CPM? Where it makes you go up and down, up and down? Nah, not yet. Not yet? All right. Not yet. So they just had me like this. Like, it's fucked up. He had to ask for an upgrade. They had me with the fucked up one, but right now it's like I got an upgrade and shit, but... What's the ball for? Was it like a, a ulcer For one? him to get uh, more motion. More it's motion. Is that, it's like ulcer or donjo? Shit, I don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one because the cheap ones don't have that ball. Yeah, I yeah. mean, look, that she has me wrapped up around my waist and in in my neck so I don't fall or something. <laughs> so your arm is like. This is full. I was just telling you, this was hard to shower, right, homie. Right handed? Left handed. Oh, good. Like your ass. Yeah, I was able to, I was able to rub one off today. <laughs> like, hell yeah. Hey, hey, Showery, hey, homie. Hey, did you have to be like, don't move this Don't up. move, motherfucker, before you fall off and people are going to be like, what happened? Yeah. Fuck. You know? It is what it is. It's all good, though, man. How long are you going to deal with that? Like six months, bro. Dun, dun, dun! Breaking news. This is your public service announcement and the news you all been waiting for. The Manscaped engineering team has confirmed that they have successfully created the Lawnmower 4.0. Lawnmower 4.0. Trimmer, which is now available for the purchase in the USA and Canada. This new trimmer was just released only moments ago. And we are one of the first to get our hands on it and share the news. Join over 200. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% 20% off free shipping with the code take a shower at manscaped.com. Hey guys, I'm one of the first people to try this new 4.0 and I'm blown away by the performance. It's like when you make a left by the scrotum, you're good. You can make a right by the shaft, you're good. You can go downtown Julie Brown, you're good. I'm blown away by the performance, the craftsmanship, the details on the 4.0 are next level. Their advanced ceramic blade and skin safe. I'm talking like if you got psoriasis, it won't even take a scab off. Their advanced ceramic blade and skin safe technology so good that it almost seems as if Manscaped worked with Elon Musk engineers to ensure your testicles are as safe as possible. Look, guys, if you had a Tesla and you went to space, you could save yourself with this manscape. Like, you know, I'm 44 years old. Manscaped came out three years ago. Before that... We would go to the swan meet and get some old clippers, some one with like they they used to shave goats with, because we were just scared. I'm talking like, you ever get clippers? They like like they got teeth. Then they eh, and you got to put oil on it and like, yo. Thanks to the new lawnmower 4.0, like, what makes this trimmer different? from all the other trimmers is a new multi-function on and off switch button can engage a travel lock created for people who like to travel 
The Lawnmower 4.0 gives you the ability to turn the 4000K LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave. The new trimmer even allows you to customize your trim all through the additional guard lengths with sizes one through four. So if you got the thickies, you got the pretty rickies, you got the curlies, you got the straights, you got the thinnies, this new 4.0 will lock it down. It's sleek with a two-tone matte and gloss finish. Even features a hot foil stamp black chrome Manscaped logo show that mower off loud and proud. The optimized lawnmower 4.0 trimmer is waterproof, so you can groom in the shower as you show off your power and not have to worry about making a mess on the bathroom floor. For reals, guys, you go in the shower, it's like kill Bill with a sword. Boom, you throw the hour on, water, it's gone if you're still trimming your face with your ball trimmer it's time to make some changes get 20 percent off free shipping with code take a shower at manscape.com no person wants to end up with pubes in their mouth and your balls will thank you get 20 percent off shipping code Take a shower at manscaped.com with free shipping at manscaped.com and use promo code take a shower. Official sponsor of George Press Stories. Late. And we're back. What's up, my boy? Once again, George Press Stories is brought to you by Gunther's, located in downtown Santana off of Broadway in Maine. Look, guys, if you want to look fresh, if you're looking for a Pendleton, Ben Davis, 501s, Stacy Adams, Hush Puppies, Imperials, Carhartt, Charlie Browns, Todo. Yo, look, if you want to look like Raza in a firma as Casa, check out my boys located in Santana. That's Gunters. They also have a website. So if you're trying to get some clothes and you don't live close, hit up the website. Pre Dick, what's cracking, my boy? Man, <clears throat> shit, just right here chilling, man. How you feeling, dog? Otra. I feel all right right now. You were like on uh, the pain medication. You look Hell chill yeah. and shit. Hell yeah, man. You know, it's just just big chilling right now, man. That's what's up. Well, hey, my boy, you got a uh, you got a good onda. You got a good spirit. Gracias, you gracias. have a, you know what I mean. So like. What what's the plans for after this shit, dog? Like, what's shit, man. Up? Well, we got the podcast. The podcast, hey, homie. Like, COVID hit you. Shipping hit you. Everything hit me, but you know what? Shit, I don't give a fuck, homie. We're gonna run this podcast with one arm. Fuck it, let's go. Right. Portense bien. Portense bien's coming out. Hell yeah. Is there is there any future plan date you got on that? Like oh, a month man. or two. It's, it's it's coming, man. It's coming. Just sign up. Portense bien with. Three ends, because there's people already trying to bite that shit. No way. Hell yeah. That's what sucks, dog. Yeah. I, I used to have this thing where I used to always... Because when I was locked up, there was this homie. His name was Bouncer. He was from Plas. He was fucking funny-ass fool, dog. And he used to always be like, hey, dog, you ever know that, You ever talk to a paisa? And the paisa's like, hey, instead of just to let you know, he goes, he's the hey, just to let you know. Like, uh-huh. Every time he says something, like, hey, know, wait, uh-huh. tienes hambre just to let you know. Just to let you know. So I started always doing that, hey, just to let you know. And then I went to go patent it. And all these motherfucking other lame comedians that were fucking in the game back then, just to be culos, did the patent first, dog. <sighs> pues así es el juego, man. You know? Good shit's coming up, man. Uh, I'm doing Skank Fest. This uh, Friday, Saturday, You got a and bunch Sunday. of shit going on, not just Skankfest. Yeah, what else I got going and on? You're pulling up with Chingo Bling, doing the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be with, uh... yeah, what's up, my boy? Ross, dude, in the building, dog. Sit yeah. next to Xavier, dog. Okay. Yeah, yeah, jump on. Before you bought us a bottle? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. My guys. homeboy, Predick. What's up? What's up? Oh, what is this? Right here, some uh, Stein, some Stein, German wine, German Riesling. Brought it over. It's the homie. That's it. He's 
like a 70 year old dude in Germany. You kick it with the 70 year old? Boy? But he's a you know, he's <laughs> line and shit. But yeah, I kick it with I kick it with older people. You know, they're yeah. Chill. But the wine game is like something I just recently got into. Oh but, uh, shit! You know, this is some good shit. Entrepreneur. Dog. I don't know. I mean, you know, I I've been DJing like wine parties at the past year and shit. And it's just kind of like taking off for me. So you know, they they show me a lot of love and they're just cool motherfuckers. So. But yeah, That's I want to. Cra- I want to crack this open. We have cups, or yeah, dog, I got it all. all. Right. Okay, Evans, okay. go to the kitchen, dog. Evans, the he, he almost shot me outside. I just walked up, and he was like, <laughs> like, he was like, who the fuck is this guy outside? I'm like, hey. <laughs> Yeah, that's my Samoan security. Oh, for real? He looks like a cholo, huh? That's cool. We're both uh, islanders, you know. Well, where are you from? Guam. Oh, shit. Evans, yeah, yeah. how far is Guam from Samoa? It's like a few yeah, hours. It's probably like from here to like, if you're driving to probably like a... The Valley? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs> hey, fool, so like, give me directions from Guam. Like, when you go to the ocean, where do you make a left? Like, uh, so you fly out of LAX and you fly towards Hawaii. Then you fly from Hawaii to Guam, and you just keep going until you're like almost at Japan or some shit. But you know, then you stop. But you're there, yeah. It's farther. It's, but, but, it's farther. Yeah. Everybody has to fly to, to Hawaii from here. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, everybody gets Hawaii and then from Hawaii. Is it expensive to go over there? So hold on, you gotta you gotta you gotta fly to Hawaii first. Yeah. yeah. And then from Hawaii you go to Guam. Yeah. And then from Guam you go to Samoa. I think you can go to Samoa straight from Hawaii. Yeah. You're so. Right. Yeah. Because Guam's farther. Guam's a little bit farther. Yeah, Guam's so Guam far is out. farther. Yeah, so we're Guam like Guam is like uh, the El Salvadorian Guam, of Islanders because they're like, damn, who well, you gotta basically, go? Basically, <laughs> basically, we're we're really fucking far out. So El Salvador, those guys are like super far out and shit, or like. Are you by El Salvador too? No, it's like in the middle of the Pacific, but it's like in the middle of nowhere, dude. There's like nothing there. Like there's nothing around. America here. was like, yo, we need this base. Yo. Yeah, there Here's it was food and medicine, right? Yeah, it's oh, yeah. fucked up. Well, That's what's up. US territory, right? Yeah, U.S. Yeah, territory. U.S. territory. All right, so look, I got the map right now. Damn, for Guam is by Oceania, Asia. And North America, damn, it's in the Pacific Ocean. Right now, my cat's tripping. Look at that, bought his own wine. Gla- uh, look, bought his own wine opener. That's a wine opener and a fucking uh, beer opener. And he cuts mangoes with that. Right there, yeah. <laughs> Your baby dog. Fuck yeah. yeah. Hey, but uh, hey, uh, uh, I had this homegirl. Her name was Chastity, and she was from Guam. The stripper? No, no. Oh, okay. She she used to go into the strip club, but I knew her, and she would make this fucking Guam rice. The red rice? Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! You know about red rice? Yeah. That's gonna make me cry, dude. That's the, isn't that one of the most beautiful things you've ever tried? Like, I mean. <laughs> At the end of the day, dog, if I'm at a barbecue, I'm going to choose the Mexican. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Culture, but I th- that's my second. That's it's it's turtle a good one. Sperm. Turtle <laughs> sperm. Is that a turtle <laughs> sperm? We got turtle sperm, uh, you know, it's whatever their island stuff there. No, nah, no, nah, there's uh, a. <laughs> it's some red seed, a choti. It's a choke seed? A, a choti, a choke seed. You can choke on them, but a choti is what it's called. All right. You drink it, dog? Some of that. Xavier right. is. No. Yeah, he wants to. You, you in Evans? No, no. This is German wine. Look, hey, dog. Do I got some fancy ass cups, though? They're cool. They're cool. We, you know, in the wine game, I want them to start getting, like, more heady, you know, because we got, like, homies that blow glass. Like, the wine cats, they don't know anything about, like, dog, this heady is glass, you know? Fucking Matt Robertson made these. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look For at real? this, dog. Look at the thickness. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. Matt Robinson, shout this out This is you. before the giraffe print. Giraffe Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> so dope. Hey, after one drink, a giraffe pops up. It's fucking beautiful here. Hey, you know what's crazy is like uh, wine. Like, predict. Like, there's like a thing to I know, it. Like, I know. My primo lives over there in Napa Valley. It. You gotta smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Like, you know, it fucking no, no, no. It smells like Germany. But, uh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, what's it's, up, hey, like I remember one time a 
a girl sucked my dick. And she goes, I like wine so much that like she throw my dick around. And then she smelt it. <laughs> she put it in her mouth. She's like, yeah, I know this. Kind of uh, the sparkling. Mozo, Mozo region. Yeah, Ooh, I can, I can taste Very some, mineral. I can taste Jewish tears in here. <laughs> oh, this shit tastes weird, eh? Like, what, what's the olive grape? What kind of grape no, it's is a, this? It's a Riesling, but it's... Um, what's a Riesling? I'm a cholo, dog. It's, a, it's like a... Think of it like strains of weed, you know? It's Riesling a, sounds like a cholo hipster. Right? <laughs> That's also from the Riesling. Riesling, cholo hipster, but or Like the Riesling circus instead of ring ring? The Ringling, <laughs> it's it's like a it's a white grape grown in Germany. You know they got all kinds of different ones. But you think it like your strain of weed, you know, like a sativa type thing. Like the red wines get you all fucked up and down. This one's like good for like you can like drink it all day and party. You know, oh, it's like party that's wine. Crazy. There's the f- the fentanyl content is probably really low. I'd say, but you know, probably it's got like, something. Uh, coochie hair of a grain of salt. <laughs> coochie. Hey, did you know that all you need is a grain of salt of fentanyl, and you can overdose on a I grain of salt? Shit, yeah. A That's grain. It. Imagine that dog. A grain. I had a neighbor that was missing his arm and leg when I first moved to LA. He like lost him in a motorcycle accident. But this guy was did like, he work at IHOP. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just like that's that's hacky. damn dude. That's a hacky dog. Man, no, that's a, I, I like I, that shit. I, I just like had it. To, that's like a cholo. Oh, lady, did yeah. can I help you? Uh, <laughs> was that fool's name? Don't I see. <laughs> I, I like it. I like the one liner, you know. Yeah. But um, I, I do a lot of lines. This <laughs> this guy would fucking. He had like every painkiller for like he lost his arms and legs like years back. So he was like addicted to fucking painkillers, and he would be. Sucking on this thing called Actique, which yeah. he's like, yo, you lick like two of that shit, you're dead. Like you Damn, look at me, he's like, but that. he would he would have it in his mouth all day. He's like, it was cra- it was crazy. He was on like it was mad connected shit. to his mouth. He just like, like this fool had the <laughs> shit strap. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he he had half his he had an arm and a leg on one side, and yeah, this guy was he was all about like fucking knives and guns and like BDSM and shit. It was fucking weird. Not weird. It was interesting, you know. He was like Tackleberry from Police Academy. Oh, Tackleberry? Shit, yeah. You know, you don't know who Tackleberry is, dog? No. Tackleberry. I'm, that's bo- that's before my time. That was before their time, bro. I'm a millennial, dude. Whether I like to admit it or not. Um. So a millennial, so you're basically saying you don't go back in time to look shit up? You know what? I do, but I feel like it's a it's a millennial. You listen to Bob Marley. Bob Marley is it, before. It's a it's a millennial thing to like be into like maybe I don't know what it is. I'm just weird. You know, I'm from an island. I'm into whatever like past stuff. Were you I, born in Guam? Yeah. And who, what so, brought you over here? Did your parents joined the army or No, no, they're native over there, but um what did I want to do? I came out here cuz I wanted to go to film school then that didn't work out, and I just started making beats, you know? So, as, as a millennial, do you think Tupac is a, is a poet or is he an artist? As a millennial, do you think Tupac is a poet or an artist? See, I'm, I, I, I was too young to even get into Tupac. I took a different path, you know? I was, yeah, I was, on, the, I was on the the East Coast rap and shit. Yeah, but and Tupac is from the East Coast. I mean, he he's like a, you know, he's death row. albums. Death row rapper you know i was into the notorious big like wu-tang clan type shit hey but did you know what rizza said about tupac and biggie what rizza quote said, oh shit he said uh they asked him who was better tupac or biggie and he goes look biggie was a fucking mc genius he could move a crowd but tupac he could move an army tupac was malcolm x on stage when Tupac spoke, the, the fucking people were like, when Biggie was up there, yeah, you was getting your groove on. But when Pac was up there, it was like, let's ride. Cold. Wow. Yeah, and I tripped out. Uh, like, you ever, like, you ever be talking about a subject? Right now, I'm into that Wu-Tang show that's on Hulu. I haven't seen it. How is it? Fucking more than 10 stars, dog. It's probably the best I've ever seen them. It destroys the Biggie movie. Yo, I saw that Biggie movie when it first came out in like 2000 and 
seven or something. Mm-hmm. That so I saw that on Guam before I left Guam and like. Why that, did you leave Guam? Why did I leave? Oh yeah, to come out here because I want to do film and shit. But then I dropped out of school and just was like making beats, you know, like just fucking around. But before I left Guam, I saw that movie, and it was interesting because like it was the like on, on Guam it was like when. Uh, like all the black people from the island came out and saw that movie. It was the craziest thing. I've never seen that on Guam. It's pretty interesting. But the fuck, I noticed the, something wrong in that movie, though. You know, it's set in the 90s, but he's driving a Corvette. That's like from 2005 or some shit. In what movie? In the Biggie movie. Oh, yeah. They fucked that up. Nah. Stuck with me. Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, dog, you can't say who is better. Because it's those, it's, uh, what's that shit they say? They're a- artists, apples man. Apples and oranges? It's apples and oranges, dog. Well, it's the, th- the thing is, like, people forget that they're just, you know, they're artists. Like, they're just making art. Like, nobody's they ever, They were like, battling each other, dog. They, they, I, I lived this era. They, they were... Get in here, come on. No, 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 relax, sir, relax, relax. Hey, jump over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bit. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. Let's up. Yeah, this motherfucker. Right now, you look I'm like under, uh, under yeah. Well, right now, speaking of construction, he looks like a hip hop oh, yeah. like Caltrans outfit right there. <laughs> 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 like here it we like are. You did all your community service and you played the the jam. I did it. I got the you know got the Ross dude gear on. That's just dope. Python I print. Swear, I bought the one. I brought the one where you have like the chronic smoking chronic. Oh yeah, yeah, the Ross dude on it. Yeah, my son stole it. Oh shit! Because he was in high school. Damn, that's de- uh, shout out to you know your Georgie. son. Yeah, shout out to Georgie for rocking that shit at school, man. Breaking the rules, I yeah. assume. It's blowing up, bro. I see that shit everywhere right now. You got sandals, you got sweaters, you got shorts. We got we got all that. We uh, you know working on a, a Python print panties. We got some vans. I got the vans on right now. They're pretty. They're pretty dope. I don't want to like. I don't know. They're kind of dirty. I don't want to put them on the table. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You can go to rossdude.com and check them out, though. Actually, they're not even there yet. But the vans, they're coming. They're coming. What age group is buying this? Man, uh, it's all kinds of motherfuckers. I don't know. From kids to moms to Germans. like, no, no, nobody that old. I think yet. Probably like people in their like forties and fifties no, too. I rock it, dog. It, it has yeah. a good vibe. I, it's like a dope pattern. Yeah, yeah. It's on the bag. It's all that shit. You know, like if you see someone with this bag, they probably got like a lot of weed or mushrooms or whatever. I don't yeah. know. Ah, shit. <laughs> Anybody want mushrooms? Nah, I Again, just gave no. this full some mushrooms. I don't know. I shroom. What's up, XG? What's How up, are dog? you? Doing good. You think he does? You think he does shrooms? I don't know. I mean, he he might do it every once in a while. Like, look, dog, I do do that shit, but, like, when I reset this mind, it fucks me up hard. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? And I've already known. I'm just like, you know what, dog? Like, I've done acid. I've done the tabs and all that shit. Yeah, Never yeah. Never done DMT. But yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, right now, I know I'm not in a good place where I even want to reset. Like, I want to do shrooms where I have no responsibility so I can really do it. I understand. I mean, you know, when when you take it, you know, you're taking a, you're, like you said, a reset. Or for me, when I, when I do acid, you know, I notice it changes me, like, every time. Like, you're different. Like, after every I'm trip, down. like, it's like you're, you just change. Like, your reality is, like, just a little bit fucking different every time you take acid, you know. That's why I'm like, oh, I only do it once every two years or once every yeah. year and a half or just fucking i don't even know when the next time i'm gonna do it but the mushrooms it just depends you know like like it, you know when you're stuck kind of when you're stuck maybe you'll take it i get, get some stuck off cocaine I yeah mean, it'd be a weird stuck on shrooms yeah 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 i honestly i wanted to a sn- hey, dog I wanted to sniff shrooms with Coke once just because I thought. Did you? No, but like, uh, this is what I thought. I was all coked out. And, like, you remember we went to the comedy store full and Eddie found that fucking sack of shrooms that was all fucking old and he did it? Yeah, it was all crusty. It, was, it, it looked like weed. It was broken up so old. Mm. 
I had some shrooms Space in my room dust. like that, and I was like, mm-hmm. hey, fool. I had the mm-hmm. razor, and I was going to cut up the shrooms with the Coke and just do it. Because in my head at that time, I thought, you know what, dog? The Coke will push the shrooms to my brain faster. <laughs> and like it'll make my trip be stronger because the coke brought it there. Science. Cholo science. Cholo science. Dog. CS. Choloism. That needs to be a class, dude. No, I I am the fucking. I had, that's my hashtag. Choloism. Choloism. You you Kung need Fuchis. you need to teach a class at like at Cal State Long Beach on choloism. No, it'll be the fucking community state. Didn't Long you smoke them, okay. bro? With well, Diaz? I, I smoked you, shrooms you with smoked? Diaz. Oh, really? How, oh. And I did coke well, afterwards. How, well, how was the smoking the shrooms, though? You know what? It was weed and shrooms, and I ain't going to lie. It did not hit me until like three hours later. Because I did Joey Diaz podcast. Yeah, yeah. And then we fucking did some shrooms. We smoked it, smoked weed. I fucking did the Death Star Fucking Joey Diaz is looking jo- at me all crazy. I fucking love saying? Joey Diaz, man. And afterwards, I had to do a spot at the comedy store. So I did my spot. It was perfect. I ended Joey Diaz podcast by 1030. My spot was a my spot was like 1115. Boom. And then after that, I was like, fuck, I need to do some coke. I'm pretty fucked up. Yeah. So I did some fucking coke. And then I noticed like an hour later, the coke and the shrooms were playing with each other. The shrooms would give me a trip, and the coke would be like, oh, yeah, you want that trip enhanced? And then, like, I would see shit and then, like, jump out of it. Like, but panic. It was weird. It was a science experiment. Yeah. Shit. How is Uncle Joey? Uh, Did you see his new movie? Yeah, I seen The Many Saints of Newark. I talked to Uncle Joey just the other day. Fuck yeah. He's doing good, bro. He's in Jersey. Newark, I mean, he's in Newark, New Jersey. Hold up. How was it watch, watching Uncle he's Joey in Newark? On, on TV? I've seen him on TV. I know, but like he actually played a, a bigger part than usual. Usually, you're, I'm usually just a little like side part, like the Spider-Man one. Yeah. This one, he was actually like a character. And it was his perfect character for him. I was so looking at it, I was like, that's exactly who he should be playing. I can't wait to see it. You haven't um, seen it? No. Yo, dude, one, like, two. He's been in all kinds of shit, and uh, this time, you could tell that the homie... Was around people at his level, mm-hmm. and he was rela- he was it was Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta, it was, hey, dog, holy shit! It's the fucking Sopranos, dog. Is when they were younger. David, David Chase, yeah, movie. And yo, dog, he did his shit. It was kind of weird because they killed him in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got shot. <laughs> I remember. He Damn spoiler! Me, hey, dog, did you see me get shot? It's like weird. And you know what's crazy, dog, is um. I've been in a movie. And mm-hmm. It was a short film. And okay. I'm pissed off, dog, because the homie that I shot it with, he was supposed to give me a copy. It was it was kind of funny. It was a short film, and it was about these two guys that always hit up girls on the party line, <laughs> and they did drugs with them, and the girls were trying to kill us. There was a girl oh, trying shit. to kill us okay. because her little sister OD'd with us. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. So in the movie, that's, I get that's, killed. That's full. deep. Oh, shit. How'd you die? I... I you died. The fool dope. that gave it to him, huh? Huh? Were you the fool that supplied it? Was it like a? F- I don't. You, I, I, it's a movie. We how, shoot those parts. How, how'd you die in the movie, though? Like, what was so the? So in the movie, she kills. I go to pick my homie up, and she kills my homie, and then she comes outside, and she's like, "What's up?" And I'm like, "What's up?" She's supposed to be fine hitting on you. She is fine, dog. Okay, They're okay. fine. Wow. And then she was just like, "You remember the Lotus?" Oh shit! I was like, Who's the Lotus? The Lotus. Exactly. Oh and she shit! Pulls out a gun full and she shoots me, and I remember just going, "Oh!" <laughs> and then, like in my head, I was like, "All right, dude, what do I do? I've never been shot in the chest. <laughs> like, how do I act this You've out?" Seen it though. So, hey, for, I did it smooth. For I was like, "Oh!" And then I fucking turned around, hit the car, dog, and did that whole like slide drag off the car. <laughs> And then I laid down. How do I see this? Uh, I, I want it, dog. Oh, fuck. Hey, on the first take, I laid down, and I was like, shoot me again. I don't want to feel the pain like your sister did. Because <laughs> you know, cause, cause that, I'm a comedian. Was that, that was improv. That was an improv yeah, line. Exactly, oh, dog. shit. Off, off they, the allowed, they allowed that? No, nah, for the producer, he goes, you can't do that shit. Oh. Like, and I remember just... And then I remember just going, like, hey, dog, I still haven't died yet, though. Like, <laughs> the dying part is weird, fool, because, like, you close your eyes, and then I started laughing. I was like. 
He said, like, stop laughing. So I closed my eyes again. I closed my eyes again and I was like. Sorry, oh. fucking. I, I would love to die in a movie, like be ripped apart by an alien or some shit or like do the, the eyes open, you know, eat it. And okay, they cl- okay. then they close Explain. it for you. So uh, the alien, like where you're fighting it, <laughs> like no, nah, just where I'm, just like a person, whatever. Ba- ba- background, just rolling a blunt, alien invasion, like alien fucking starts eating me or some shit, you know, oh, in the movie, shit. like ripped apart, like like fucking just. just like, that, hey, that's a bottom crazy up. way to die. <laughs> yeah, an alien just mm-hmm. going. Zow! Yeah, just ripping you apart. The, there's not that many uh, movies like that out anymore. You know, like those in the eighties, they had it seemed like there was a lot of like fucking practical you effects. You and what's Can that? I tell you something that you're not gonna want to hear. What's that? You don't like the wine? No alien has ever killed a human, dude. I don't know. Where's the proof? There's proof that animals have like that. What you're speaking of is probably an extreme death. Like yeah, hey, yeah, dog, yeah. Because it's never been experienced. Yeah, I, and so I like it. In my head, I was like, "Wow!" Oh yeah, you know, like a, just like a, you know, like alien or whatever. But you know Imagine what? That's true. That shit, though, like, if that really happened, but I, what's an alien? We've never seen one. I mean, motherfuckers say Bigfoot could be a. Do you, do you think Bigfoot's real? No, when you reference Bigfoot for it to be like legit, Xavier, come on. I heard you, if George is, if you have, if he hasn't seen it. it if you don't true. have proof of its okay, existence, okay. it can't be real, right? He, he's the type where if the government came out and said aliens are real and here's a video of aliens, yeah, yeah. George would be like, wait up, wait up. If I can't see it or touch yeah. it, personally, mm-hmm. it's just CGI. It's some bullshit that oh, the, the government... the Matrix does. looks real. The yeah. fu- John Wick is... John... Dog. The people that made... I'm pretty sure the government has better producers than John Wick. Mm-hmm. See, George needs to see it. Well, they should, yeah. Am I right or am I wrong? I mean, the government, uh, who knows what the fucking government has their hand in in the movies, you know? Like, it seems like everything that's put out is a bunch of fucking... No, fuck uh, the bullshit. If you're going to say we have an extraterrestrial, that means something that was not born on this planet that has a mind, it it, it, it has to be able to count, it has to be able to communicate with other beings of itself what if it's just like a creature or some shit they like you know but like how is a creature gonna get to planets beyond to get to us well coming back be smarter go, than us to go, get to us going back to bigfoot some say like a, you know the navajos they say that shit like bigfoot and they, they're interdimensional so they'll fucking pop in through a portal oh, and come gonna- out and kill motherfuckers stop, and stop, eat Robbie. shit and eat, pop right back stop. in the portal. But that's okay, what that's so what the they Navajos say. Navajos could control Bigfoot, but they couldn't control the fucking white man that came across. They can't control anything. They're just out in the desert and portal it's pops open. Motherfuckers, man. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> the portals pop open. That's what, that's just what they say. You know, no, I don't know. I can't don't. I can't confirm no. if it's real or not. But chicken, chicken pox got him, dude. Yeah. I'm not believing in anything. The fucking they say they real. They they chicken pox got Bigfoot had. The Bigfoot pox. I don't know. But hey, dog. But getting ripped you're apart by an alien. to believe whatever you want, so well, go ahead. Well, that's the cool thing about, you know, making a movie, movie magic, is that you can just make up shit with whatever you want. And, like, you know, I'd love to have a starring role as some somebody just gets ripped apart by an alien. Not starring, but, you know, background. But, y- you know, you died and you got shot in, in the movie. Yeah, dog. It was kind of weird, dog. Cause like we had to do two takes. <laughs> How do you feel about the fucking that whole Alec Baldwin thing? That that I mean, could have been know like what to feel. It I could, mean, that could have been you. Like no, you it would know? never be me. Well, I mean, like you know, the sh- she shot the gun, I or was it gun. like Without, we weren't on a real set? <laughs> okay, okay. Like it was a fake gun. All right. And like, but like you tested it. You hey, touched but, it. But speaking of it that, was Alec a fake Baldwin gun, though. Shit, hey, look, I hate to be a dick. Oh man, but I have to. Mm-hmm. So look, Alec Baldwin is a great fucking actor. Supreme. Right? And then they didn't hey dog, they put a video out where there's a reporter following him and he's in the woods. It's a beautiful background. It makes him look so innocent and fatherly. He's mm-hmm. like, Look, he gets out of the car, look, I'm not allowed to talk about this. like he got to show you empathy and shit. At the end of the day, dog. 
It's a motherfucking mistake. Yep. If, if he did it for real, lock that motherfucker up. Someone's got to, but think someone's got to go to jail. Even if it's not him, there was no, could have been no the security one got to go person. To jail, dog. No one got to go to jail. It was all just an accident. How's there? How's there a real gun? It's just an accident. When it's supposed to be a prop. Who who allowed that shit? It was on the whoever the did. Before. Whoever did should be go to jail. I'm not saying Alec Baldwin, but someone is in charge of the safety precautions. There, there should be a. If not go to jail at least. Hey, she died. Here. Someone died. This shit already happened the on the set with Bruce Lee's son Brandon. Oh yeah, yeah. Same thing. Someone should. Hey, someone did should someone go to, go to jail? No, I'm not saying someone should have gone to jail. Then I'm just. So saying why are you should. saying it now? Because I, I still think they should have gone to jail. No one should die. No one should go to jail on a set like that where there's professionals and this is a job. I mean, hey, you know what? Somebody died. So sorry to them. Rest in Spence peace. On the I mean, I've been, I've been on set where like. Get over gonna... here. <laughs> Hold on, let's switch spots again, dog. Oh, yeah, Jump yeah, back yeah, with here, X. Here, here. Yeah, we need pre dick back in this shit. He right now he recharges he battery. Was yeah, we're gonna be done right now, anyways, right. dog. Yeah, so I've been on set, and um, whoever's in charge of the guns and shit, they make sure they check every fucking gun, dog. Right. And every fucking bullet, bro. So I mean, I've been there myself, making sure that the process is right. They didn't even take the guns away from us, like. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. They take away the clips. Check everything, bro. So I think some of that shit was a setup. See, told you setup. It's to the, so, uh, some, it, it has Did to be someone's fault. Did you know the backstory about the... Do you guys even know the backstory? Hmm? Did you know that the crew marched... They were striking on the movie set because they they were told... The no, 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 no. No, no, no. They were told that they were going to get compensated for the hotel stay. And that the hotel was going to be close? No, dog. The hotel was an uh, hour and a half drive every day, dog. Instead of the other hotel that was like five minutes away. But they, they made them pay for that one. And then they were talking about the conditions, the hours. They were, they were striking. I still think that shit was a setup, dog. Because I don't know, man. They were aiming for somebody. Somebody loaded that clip and put that real bullet in there. Can well, we I've done some investigating about this. I really didn't do investigating. I got you a lot sound of like pop-ups. Sam Tripley. <laughs> so, hey, dog. Hey, <laughs> did you know that the girl that was supposed to be the safety inspector of the gun shit, the one that brought the gun out, yeah. she already got complaints on a prior movie set before this? I didn't know that. Yeah. So there's already a, a little fucking, a little list on her. You know, hey, dog. I'm not trying to burn Hollywood, but it's just like any other job. It's not what you know. It's who you know. Homegirl got the job, not on her skills and qualification. Like a lot of these fuckers do. Yeah. A lot of these people don't get hired because they're the best at it. Holy shit. They're the best at networking with it and getting the people in it. That's giving it up. That's disturbing. No, the motherfuckers are the best are the fools that come from the slums on up. You know what I'm saying? Like the fools that did it without doing what these fools wanted. Like, hey, dog, I remember club owners and comedy telling me, look, George, I'll let you headline a week here if you grow your hair out and mm. wear a suit. And I was like, <laughs> what? Like, yep. Fuck you. Yep. Fuck you. I'm proud of you for that, man. Look, like, hey, don't dog, fucking. Look, homie. You got integrity. Yeah, I live my life, dog. And in the world of comedy, nobody wants to see a real active gang member that does good yeah what up there. what do you mean they don't they don't Everybody, a lot of them are fucking actors when you look at their background with no background yeah and all those guys and hey whatever dog whoever has it more credit to them yeah whoever's getting it cool but at the end of the day when it comes to the big shows big daddy comes through and wipes them out there you go you know but it's kind of like you know what i'm trying to say i understand it's Hollywood a, is no fucking joke. It, Hollywood's powerful, dog. And what happened on that set, no one's going to ever fucking know. I'm just fortunate to not have be in those like type of that have to deal with that shit cuz yeah. you had to deal with it in comedy like it's fuck it sounds horrible having to deal with them motherfuckers like no, but trying you know to make what, dog? you sell out and I've had to deal with worse than that on the street. So okay. this to me is just kind of like all right, cool. You know, um, System of a Down has a song yeah. called Lost in Hollywood. Okay. That was a badass song. And, yeah. And it just tells you straight up, like, look, if you want to be mainstream, mainline, 
on Channel 7, Channel 4, Channel 2, you're going to be an immigrant wearing a New York Rangers jersey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's like I've been, I've been in this place, but I've been in, I in a, you know in exactly a position. What I'm talking about. I've, been, I've been in Hollywood, bro, where like I was an extra, right? Yeah. And they always kept on getting the same people over and over and over. Like, bro, give new people, new talent a chance, but no, we're going to have the same person. Same person. So why do we even come to these motherfucking um, yeah. interviews or whatever? You guys already know who's gonna fucking have that spot. That shit's disturbing about Hollywood. How like it, you know well, how that's it's how just, it is. It, I'm not mad. It but it's I'm not mad at them. But it's normal to like have the same fucking actor for like every movie every year. And it's like what the fuck? Can I like, tell you why? You just put someone new in there. No, but it's a business. If it works, why fix? It? At the end of the day, when I look at it, I go, you know what, Hollywood? I ain't mad at you. You don't want me, and it's cool because I don't want you. Yep. I'm gonna do it my way. It's like, uh, why do you think they keep playing the fucking rock? It fucking works. Yeah, sells tickets. Exactly. He's great. He Everyone is. loves him. But yeah. yeah, you're right. Why not play someone else? But when it comes to no, money, they it's, don't he's guaranteed want money. It. He's guaranteed money. They don't want creativity. They, they don't want, want additivity. They want it's like, guaranteed that one guy, pay. John Cena is that his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like he's a I don't know, man. Like to each their own. That but. His acting skills are whack. It, you know what yeah, fucks but me he up? He has people watching. Well, it's it's people like watching, fucking the ba- the rescue. Logan with the brothers, those white boys that box. I don't even. I they don't even sell more them. tickets than boxers. <laughs> that, that shit is. Uh, oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah, you yeah, got yeah. a following, that's all you need. The culture of entertainment is so disturbing to me that I, you know, you were talking about me what, like watching. Or just uh, being into old stuff. Mm -hmm. So one of the old things I watched recently, some Charles Bronson shit. You know, I was on my my Uncle Joe. Dude, on YouTube right now, there's a free movie. It's called Red Sun with Charles Bronson. Have you seen that shit? Homie, I grew up on Charles Bronson. You seen Red Sun? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Have you seen Death Wish yet? I've seen Death Wish is the first one. That one was like dark as fuck. But like Red Sun was so crazy. It's like they got the samurai. They got the Indians. They got the Mexicans. They got the French. They got the army. They have Charles Bronson. He's a bad guy in this movie. You know, we're not fucking around. Oh, my God, dude. I saw that. I was like, that was the best thing I've seen in in years like all, all this new shit that comes out what i hey, hear have you seen the movie just, just one of the guys no watch this you'll like it it's artistic okay it's about a girl that's fucking beautiful oh and she's a great writer but no one takes her serious because she's beautiful damn so she fucking transfers schools changes her sex from a dresses like a dude dresses like a dude and then meets this nerd. It's meets a nerd fool, makes him cool, and writes a story about a girl dressing as like. Dog, she does PE. She goes to homecoming. Like yeah, hey, everything. A four, and it's an all star cast. When is this from? This is from like 1983, 82. Shit. But hey, dog, this movie is. They don't make shit like that anymore. Do they, they can't. They can't. They. They don't use talent. They use beauty. They use what sells, and you can't get mad at them. Look, though, the Kardashians are the most who the fuck is who is all this? Who's all this money going to? Like, it's going the, to the big boys? We don't know because we're dude, too them motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> you're too real to know these people. It's fuck. You're too real to know these people, dog. Fucking a Charles wow. Bronson, dude. That's all I'm gonna yeah. say. But you know when, dude, it, when they, Bruce Jenner was my friend on. Yeah, Instagram. What? He's he's not even he hasn't responded back ever since he turned into Caitlyn. Really? Like, think about it, dog. Bruce There's Jenner. Rules. Before he became Caitlyn, was Bruce. What happened to that account? I don't know, man. So they probably had publicists take it over or something. You know, he's not even there no more. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't have time Hollywood's for that. Was a trip, dog. It is a trip, you know, like they, they always talk about movies, like you hear it on like whatever, like a, they, whenever people talk about movies, they just talk about how much fucking money it made. I'm like, well, was it even any good? Like, was it, it sounds that's like a not, piece of shit, dude. It like, doesn't matter, but think about it. It's crazy. Yeah. That's how they like, judge movies, like how well it, how good it is by how much Bob money Bob Marty it made. was alive right now, he would quit. 
You be like, probably. You want like, me to go I'm Instagram there's live? Movies that make feria right now when there's a lot of theaters that are closed. Like, what the fuck? How yeah. are you guys making feria? It's the streams oh, on man. HBO yeah. Max. Streaming. And all that other shit. Crazy. Now, some, hey, the movies are back, though, fool. They're I, open again. I can't wait to go to a movie again, man. Yeah, like, what's just, the last movie you've seen in theater? Fucking A. I don't even know. I think it was... Uh, the Lighthouse. You ever see that one? <laughs> yeah, I did, dog. <laughs> that's that's that a, shit's creepy. So so that movie I saw it twice. Oh my god, that shit was scary, creepy. But you got to think of that. That movie to me was like the best. It was like a buddy comedy, like buddy, a buddy. Oh man. It's like a buddy comedy, yeah. dark comedy. Like it was. It was that's evil. <laughs> Have you seen this like, shit? It's uh-huh. like the darkest the shit you ever I seen. seen the was the last. Fast and the Furious movie. Okay, no see that's uh, see that's cool. That's cool. That's like, I uh, mean, everything else was closed and shit. So when they opened it, I was like, "Fuck it, let's go." That's good. The, yeah, the, the uh, lighthouse dude fucks a mermaid. Mm-hmm. It was pretty. It was pretty gnarly. Yeah. Dude has sex with a mermaid. He's he's like so horny, dude. He's like <laughs> he sees a fucking. He hasn't seen a woman in like forever, yeah, dude. And he's like stuck at this lighthouse <laughs> on this island. Though. They're stuck on an island, and he uh, sees a mermaid like beached, and it's like yeah, it's like sleeping. And he's like, I'm gonna fuck that <laughs> thing. <laughs> Did she, have, did she have a sipper or something? And no, she just—it's like a like a fish. Where's the hole at? It's the fish, like you on guys, the fish body. It has like a yeah. pussy in it. And like, think about <laughs> it. Like you can't spread her legs. No, it's a fish with the pussy in it. It's got boobs and like you know, it's People beautiful. It's be- like if I if I was hey, in no, that shit stinks though. <laughs> oh man, imagine how bad that shit stank. Imagine, like though. oh a beached, imagine, a beached like, mermaid. And she trying Woo. to kiss you and all the fish that bitch. Oh ate. yeah, damn shark dick. Oh man, who knows, dude? Like, but yeah, this. But it why? Is okay, look, 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 Yo, look, look. Okay, can I be like George right now? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So if there's a mermaid, yeah, there has to be a man mermaid. Because why does she have a pussy? Uh, uh, the only reason girls have pussies is to piss and reproduce. But I, I, I think that the. So if a mermaid has a pussy, there has to be a. Re- am I right? Or am I wrong? Yeah. For her to give birth to another one. Yeah. Well, that's what they do is they they go to Who sea, they? Uh-huh. they go to sea and they seduce men like fucking humans, and that's what they do is they catch the human, have it impregnate them, then they just fucking dump you in the sea like fuck you. I'm gonna go have some, some hardcore. They have like some fish, half fish babies, <laughs> <laughs> and they have like a thousand <laughs> of them at a time. You know, they can just keep and they just and keep going ashore. <laughs> <laughs> Mer- I, I wish mermaids were real. I think I don't, I don't. I don't want no fish pussy. Imagine that shit. Though you get a letter in the, the ocean. They put them in the zoo for sure. Like that'd be at Sea World. The number one attraction at Sea World would be the mermaid. Ocean Queen. Nah. Like a bu- okay. So look, say you're a mermaid in like the the Red Sea. You got to be a Muslim. You can't wear. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to wear like a little mask. You got to go know. around with a turban on. Can't show your titties. It sounds like a hard life. Like, be, well, at least you can't interact with humans. Really, you got to just stay at sea and like not get eaten by a fucking whale or some but shit. We're always in the ocean. We got cameras. We're everywhere. There'd be no. There'd be <clears throat> no red like life left. He's like, give me another drink. I don't know. Mermaids. I'm fucking with you, dog. Fuck yeah. Would you fuck a mermaid? Predict. Shit. She got her no. test. She got an STD test. Man, fuck the bullshit. Just fuck her, dog. Like you said, you haven't seen a girl in such a long time. You're going to smash. Dude, yeah, but that she's guy never was... brushed her hair. Dude, she's she's co- she fuck. was covered she in seaweed, well, What makes you think that you have showered if you've been living in an island yourself? No, but like, hey, dog, she's never like, she must have long armpit hair. She has to have, mm. like, it. X, help me out. Scaly. No, she's aerodynamic. She's got no hair, dude. When you swim, fish don't got hair. Maybe in her hair, but just because just to make her sexy. So then her pussy doesn't have blood. Like it has. <laughs> it definitely doesn't have its period. Yeah. But mm. it has to have its period. You never know. It could, you know, well, the, the mermaid probably just spawns, you know, like a salmon. Like, what color is the mermaid? Is she a blonde, blue eyes? or? Is she well, the like, one in the movie was a hot brunette. Like with yeah. blue eyes. Oh, man. And she was gorgeous. I was like, yeah, I fucked that mermaid. Like, you know. Honestly. Sorry. I mean, like. If I was I him, know. it'll kill you because like, at the end of the day, like I would like fish hook her. She would think it's like a real hook. She had sharp teeth, though. Yeah, I know. Kind of scary. This is kind of scary. I, nah, then that'd be weird fucking a mermaid. 
But that was a, that was a good dark com dark comedy buddy movie. You know, that was the la- that was the last thing I saw in theaters. I think so. Yeah, the last thing I seen in theaters. I'm probably wrong. I think it's uh, straight out of Compton. Really, dude? I've still yet to see it. Was it good? I cried. Fuck. I cried when Easy when they found out they gave him AIDS. The motherfuckers. Hey, I love Easy. Oh come on, man! I, hey. I remember when 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 fucking uh, Magic came out, then Easy E, and I was yeah. like, everybody was like, I'm not gonna fuck if you ain't got a condom. Yeah. Like fuck, everybody had a condom in their wallet. Yeah, wow. everybody. <laughs> hey, I, I got one in my backpack right now. Hey, they remember people would be like, hey, it's gonna dry up. Be careful. Yeah. What? Yeah, so you would leave a condom in your wallet. Oh yeah, and then you kept sitting on it and like money. You could you could see the little <coughs> mark, like the circle. Like I'm gonna open it and jack off to it. Fuck it, let's see how it feels to have one. Yeah, this, it gets depressing if it dries out. It's like man, I haven't I haven't gotten nothing yeah. in a while. Shit, it is what it is. Cheers, cheers, dog. cheers. Thank the you, Ross, dude. Thank you. Dick, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, drive by X to the G. Stein. X to the G. So yo. Sorry, man. We're going to end this motherfucker, dog. Pre-dick. Do it. I, hey, homie. You know you're part of the familia, dog. Oh, I know that already, man. I, I tried to call in and check in as, as much as I could, dog. Yeah, shout and out to everybody that checked in. Exactly, homie, dog. Everybody. They know who they are. Bless up. Yeah. And you know? uh, the podcast, you're still going to drop it, right? Shit, man, I'm telling you, we got something up for that ass. I'll fucking save you up if you don't help you, dog. No, he knows. <clears throat> You're going to pull up, too. I'll be there. Come on, dog. You know, so it's going to be It'll dope. be the first time I drive to the Valle, dog, for, like, not getting paid. You're in the valley? Or getting laid. I'm in the Valle, but where the fuck is that shit going to be? Like, Covina or some shit like that. All right. You're going to have your podcast studio in Covina? I'm going to drive out there, so. Spence on La Tira. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool, man. It's going to be it's gonna be dope. I don't want to talk a lot about it. Just let it happen organically. Mm-hmm. And then we'll be like... Holy shit, no filter, huh? Like, nope. Nah. I wish you the best recovery, my boy. I uh, yes, yes. I honestly know how you believe in spiritualness. And my only thing I'm saying is the spirits are talking to you. And they told you to slow down because you're about to start this podcast. And they gave you time off to focus and man- manifest on well, it. Well, I think that's why he, he like, like, it put me, like, like put you, put X, like, like, like around me and shit and... and let you guys bless me, give me an opportunity to just talk, you know? Yeah, no, you need it. Come on, my boy. You've been on the most for the last, for the shortest time. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, man. You know, and I've been putting in my work since like 2000, so I've been putting in some footwork, man. So I just get in where I fit in. Like I did the rapping, the acting, like whatever, homie. I just I just roll with it, dog. Roll the dice. Si, si, si. Que se porten bien. Fuck that's yeah. Yo, um... This comes out, hopefully, if Xavier does his fucking job, it'll be out at 9.15, and right now it'll be like 10.15, 10.45. I'm going to be at Skank Fest. Yeah. November 5, oh, 6, shit. and 7, Secret Group. November 5th, I will also be with Chingo Bling at the Houston Improv, 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock, and also November 7th, Sunday, with Chingo Bling. Um, Fools Gone Wild November 13th Woo. That's at the House of Blues In San Diego Only 100 tickets <coughs> left Get your tickets now yep. Don't send me nudes ladies Don't send me videos Send them just, to me Send them to me Yeah just send buy your us. tickets Ross Dude What you got coming up Yo gonna Get your merch Talk to us RossDude.com All that shit Don't forget Follow Skinny Pablo That's my musical artist uh, Persona Big Pimpin You can uh, Catch me at Tabula Rasa in Hollywood this weekend, November 6th. I'm gonna be, Saturday, I'm going to be uh, playing my beats, doing all, uh, pouring up some wine for everybody. Then catch me the next week, uh, November 12th, yep. in Austin. Be in Austin DJing, playing some stuff at Lolo Wine Bar. We're going to be getting fucked up, continuing the party over there. Then uh, catch me in Chicago in December. Yep, yeah. December 5th, Chicago, uh, Damien, Skinny Pablo, look up the dates, and skinnypablo.com, get the music, rossdude.com, get the clothing, and stay high.
and drink we're Stein. Gonna, hey, we're going to get fucked up after this, though. We're not even done. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. Eggs to the G. Scoot well, over, dog. We're going to go to the titty bar? No, we can't. Okay. All right. That's all good. <laughs> What's up? Uh, thank you for everybody. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And uh, we did a live show. So if you like Tommy singing a lot, head over there. This fool got down this weekend. And shout out to everybody who came out to the show. Thank you. Boom. Yo. This is George Perez Stories, episode 243. George Perez Stories is also brought to you by Manscaped.com. Go to Manscaped.com, use promo code Take a Shower and receive 20% off. Yo, this is what we do. Episode 243, Take a Shower, Brown Power. Lay.